Hi guys, I'm Allison Pryor and if this is the first time we've met then I teach acrylic paintings on YouTube for the beginner and I'll level step by step in real time so you can follow along with me. Now today I promised that I was going to show you how to get books on Amazon, anything really on Amazon, all your art supplies, anything on Amazon, fairly cheap, really cheap. You might see a book on there that's it's $18, $20, and I will show you how you can get that book for maybe 4 or $5, okay? And if you've got Prime, you may not have to pay shipping. And uh, we'll try the American um, uh, Amazon, and we'll try the Canadian Amazon and see what the difference is. So let's get started. Now, the Bob Ross ones and a few more popular names may be a little harder to get a really cheap, but um, like I said, in the U.S. You, get them, you should be able to get them really cheap. Uh, here Now, if you want to, you can go into art instruction books or books, uh, acrylic painting books, and see what's in there. And if there's anything that strikes your fancy, then you can look in here and you can see that it's $14.65. Now, why would you pay $14.65? You can pay $7.10. Now, that's prime, so if you got to pay seven ten plus shipping, it may come up to fourteen. But um, here's one here from one cent. See, one cent. Now, if that's something you're interested in, you get it for one cent. Uh, just keep looking and see what's there. I, that's what I did. I go in and look for cheaper ones, light and shade. Look at that for eighty five cents. Now your shipping might be six dollars. Kindle is five dollars. So, 85 cents plus your shipping. Let me just click on that and see how much it cost me to ship that. 85 cents. That's the cheapest one there. Look, all the prices are like 8, 10, 14, 15, 16. I mean, look at those prices. So this is the way you can shop all the time, you know, to get your cheaper prices. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be books. It can be anything. So um, let's see if there's anything else there. But I think that's the cheapest price. Yeah, not have gone up. So you can see the difference in the price. And you can even look inside, which is kind of nice too, right? You can look inside and see what you're buying. If you're interested for 85 cents, I would uh, I'd probably buy it anyway because you can always learn from a lot of these books. So it says look inside, but I don't see anything there. There we go. So tells you the contents, talks about light and shade. Yep. And it gives you some idea what the book is all about. Then you can decide if you want to buy it. Good. Now I'm going to add that to my cart. And just see how much they would charge me for shipping. Add to my cart. Good. So that is going to cost me 85 cents for the book. And it's going to cost me $5.99 for shipping. And then it's going to be, no, nope, taxes or anything is all included. And it's six eighty four for that book I was looking at. That's not a bad price. You've seen all the rest of them, like $20 and $30. So now we're back into the American page. And let's see what they got there for art instruction books. Nine dollars, five dollars, but you can see it's they're asking nine ninety five. But if you keep looking around at more buying choices, five eighty for that one. And you still might find it cheaper when you click on that. You might be able to get to see who else is selling them and uh, what the prices are. Let's see if we can find a really cheap one. Seven, six. See that one says thirteen seventy seven, but six dollars for the next buying choice. So you pick out something you really like or you see something really cheap and you say, well, you might be able to learn something from it anyway. Right, I don't see a big lot. This one here is a good one. $12.99, you can get it for $3.09. That's not bad. 
that's pretty good now we can find it again let's see a C7, a C5, 6 there it is, 359 see? so it might be buried but you'll have to go look for it and it's 99% positive so you know you're going to be okay and um, I don't know what the shipping would be because they probably won't ship it to Canada I'm not sure Let's see so this is my Amazon shop and um, just go to amazon.com shop at Allison Pryor I have uh, the link below but um, even if you go into my shop and let's see let's see there's art books for learning okay that's the one you'll go into for books and if you click on any of these just see if there's any um, let's see just just let's try one let's try this one anyone at all and let's see if we got any extra buying options okay so look we have that for a paperback from a dollar twenty six can you believe it forty eight used items a dollar twenty six so you can get that book for like a dollar, dollar twenty six plus shipping, which is probably only a couple of dollars, right? Let's just check it out. And I got to say, the books are fantastic. So you go in there and you look around for your dollar twenty six or the cheapest you can get. Maybe it won't show. I don't know. There's one there for three fifty. Why do you say dollar twenty six? It is not there. I don't know. It could be buried somewhere. Dollar ninety nine, right? That's all. All these prices are for that one book, okay? Twenty-seven seventy-six, right? So you keep looking for dollar fifty. There's one there for a dollar fifty, and you got ninety-five percent positive. So you know two ninety-nine. So you get you pick the cheapest one, and you can get that flower book for like less than. With I don't know how much shipping will be because uh, I can't find out if they'll ship to. Someone won't ship to Canada. But I did find books in the States that did ship to Canada and it cost about six or seven dollars, I think. But anyway, so that's one there. And like I said, so don't click on the more expensive look to thirty-six dollars. Right? Eat look, twelve thirty-three. You don't need to pay that. It's exactly the same book. Right? Let's see what else I got there. Let's see if there's anything else we can save some money on. Okay, so we know we can save money on books. Let's see if we can save money on anything else. It should work for everything that you buy, okay? It should work for lots of stuff. All right. Go back into my store. And let's see. I'm trying to get um, other things. Let's see. Now, I put them in some sections like the best acrylic painting and oil painting brushes. I, I picked, I recommend them and I picked them out for you so that you don't have to go, you know, guessing, right? So say you want to buy a brush, I recommend in my, in my store, right? So say you say, let's see, let's see, um, that one's $15. Now, let's see if they got any better buying options. Oh, let's see, maybe not, maybe not, some may not. But it doesn't hurt to try. Look. New $14.95.99. So that's looks like the best price you're gonna get there. And um, let's see what else we got. How about these brushes here? Now some of these they're probably because they're prime. I'm not sure. Uh, $12.99, okay. So I also uh, put in my shop some of the Bob Ross supplies. This is the one that I have. It's really cute. Yeah, I bought that one on Amazon. It's so cute. I had to have it. Here it is there. And that cute. And that's that. And that has a lot of sayings on it. so cute and they send you also like his paintings and it's only tiny but isn't it ever cute look at it gorgeous 
And I'm really happy about it because now I have, you know, all these little paintings that he did. And, uh, you know, it's a nice field in there. And it's like a little calendar. It's really cute. But um, that's a nice one. And they're buying options. They have like uh, $11.59 in paperback. And you can get one for $9.84. I paid... At the time, I think I paid like $12 plus shipping, but I didn't care. I just wanted it. So, if I were rich, I'd buy everything in my shop. Because <laughs> that's everything that I picked out, and I just love everything that's there. But, you know, you have to be uh, budget-wary, especially the painting is very expensive. You know, by the time you get your canvases and all that good stuff. But that's my shop. I have lots of more stuff in there. All kinds of brushes and drawing materials and book um, oh, influencer. What have I got in here? Let's see what I have in here. Oh yeah, okay. I got a bunch of stuff in here. I got some carts that you can use for storing I have one right there oops right there right there <laughs> all right so a lot of stuff on Amazon that I have I, I bought myself I just I don't know I just love it all I got my room full of stuff here but a lot of the stuff I recommended and um, I got the tripod that I'm using there now and I have the easels and the books. I have that book. I showed you that before. I got that right there. I have this here. Uh, I'll show it to you. There it is. Nix Media. I think I paid. I don't know. I'll see there my, my thing there now. But it's really nice. I must say I, I use it all the time for practicing stuff in there. I really like that one. Actually, I bought that one at Walmart. I paid uh, almost twenty dollars for it, I think. But here you can get it for thirteen. Let's see, twelve ninety-seven. All right. Let's see if there's any other buying options. Twelve ninety-seven. Okay. I have those lights here. My daughter sent them to me last year. They're right there. So I'm using right now. So I have that set. I find them great. I use them all the time. And I have this here. Watch. Yep, I have this here. Actually, I bought this one at Michael's. Okay, so you don't have to buy everything on Amazon, but you can look them in my Amazon shop. And then uh, you can also get ideas from my Amazon shop and what I recommend. And what you can do is use that as a guide to what you want to buy. What you, and then you can look at thrift shops. You can look um, down to Michaels, Walmarts, wherever. And if it's cheaper to buy in other places, go for it, you know. Um, I haven't seen too many uh, that were cheaper, but you can certainly look around. I have some gessos and paints and those paints here see oh I bought them down to um, uh, where Michaels very expensive I paid $35 or $40 for six so I don't know if it's cheaper to buy them single um, what else do I have Mod Podge I got that there somewhere it's over there uh, and I have Sell your art. I don't have that book. I might have a look and, and order it. Uh, just so. Let's see what else we got. So I just put in a, a lot of things that I thought would be nice. And uh, the names alone. Nice easels there. Painting techniques. Nice brushes. And pencils. I tried to get in as much as I could that I thought would, you would be able to use. And uh, and good names too. The Barbara selection is uh, a great. 
brushes and books and all kinds of things. Some things are for your kids. You know, and you look up, I tried to get the ones with five star rating. So, lots of stuff there for drawing and painting and color mixing. Color mixing books for $10. You might be able to get them cheaper. So what I'm going to tell you to do is go in and look up color mixing recipes. Stay, stay in here and just go up to the browser. Look up color uh, mixing recipes and see what the books come up. And then look... Click on the cheapest price you can find, the buying options, and then go in there and see if you can find the cheapest one with the uh, the, the store that has the best rating. 90, at least 90 or plus, right? I think is best. And palette knives and gesso. I said gesso a thousand times, didn't I? It's because I love it. I love it. Okay, this one I got. Acrylic, dollar and roundy really good so I got a lot of stuff in my store and anybody's into oil paints I got linseed oil and I got uh, and then I go back to my other things there my art books and the colors Bob Ross used so what I did with that one was I just put in um, the colors that he uses like burnt umber and raw umber and um, crimson red and some drying materials that I would suggest and I tried to pick the best prices and I tried to pick the best materials and the best names, okay? So the best names are, you know, uh, Liquid X, Dollar and Rowney, um, Windsor and Newton, all those names, right? And you'll know after you use them after a while, you'll know that what's the best for you, right? So I think that's I think that's about it. I don't really need to show you much more. I think that's enough to get you started. And um, so I hope you found this video informative. So if you want to buy anything at all on Amazon or uh, just check around and s click on the lowest price and go down and see, even for anything, even for household stuff. And um, but I'm I'm more into art supplies. So. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was informative. If you have any information about where you buy your books and your art supplies and where you get them cheap and how you get them cheaper, you know, leave it in the comment section so we can all get some help. And I really, really hope you enjoyed this. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye.